Close your eyes and point your mind to the breath. As for other things that you could be thinking about right now, just let them go. You want to give the mind some direction. As the Buddha said, the, the, when you are rightly directed or your mind is rightly directed, that's a good omen for your life. It's also protection. The Pali word mangala means both that. You provide yourself with protection, and back in the old days, of course, people would go to teachers for protection of protective charms, protective amulets. But the Buddha said it's up to you to direct your mind in the right direction. That's your protection. Because there are all sorts of wrong paths that we could follow through the world. Paths that are marked by desire, aversion, delusion, or fear. And those paths don't lead to a good place. You want a path that goes someplace safe, genuinely safe. And you want a path that's noble in and of itself. And there's so many paths in the world that say, well, we'll give you a good goal, but you have to be willing to stoop to some bad behavior in the meantime. But this path doesn't require that at all. Nothing but honorable things. As the Buddha said, there are two kinds of searches in the world. The search for what is subject to aging, illness, and death, and the search for things that are not subject to aging, illness, and death. The second search is the noble one. So you want your mind to be a noble mind. You want to direct it in that direction. So when choices come up, you ask yourself, okay, which direction is this choice going to take me? And try to choose the ones that are, take you in the noble direction. Because after all, your life is not determined by any outside force. It's determined by your own choices. As the Buddha said, there's no one in charge out there. And for some people that's a scary thought, but for the Buddha it was, it's a liberating thought. You can take your true happiness and make that your goal. No one, no one can say no to that. But it's up to you to choose. 